Nice to meet you, Tracy. Would you and your dad like to come in for some tea? I don't want any of your stinking tea. And he is not my dad. I want triple chocolate with chocolate cream filling and on the top, fudge icing with... <coughs> Tracy, I think you can rely on us to make your birthday cake really disgusting. And put down horror videos for afterwards. I want space slasher three and four. No horror videos. It'll be just like another boring old dumping ground party. It's gonna be great. We're gonna have dancing. Well, hey, I've had this since I was at college. Imagine, and you still don't know where the notes are. Hey. Not nice, eh? Do you know, we always meant to take you kids on a camping trip so we could sing for you around the campfire. <laughs> You'd have loved that. Look, it can't be helped. She's having a bad day. So I'm having a bad life. Ah. Uh -uh. Don't even think about it, Tracy. Come on. Come on. She doesn't have to. I'm afraid she does. Don't worry, he's one of my minders. <laughs> I'm big. I'm mean. I'm a muscle machine. Oh. Oh, bother. Oh. Oh, it's okay. Look, just click on do. There you go. Oh, I knew that. Of course I knew that. Sure you did. Hey, I made that myself. Remember when the pottery lady came last summer? Next. No! Let it die, it's suffering. We only need to blow it up. The rubbish tip's cheaper than dynamite. Not in, am I? Oh, I'm very clever. Look, about my leaving. They just didn't give me any time to. Is this a face of someone who cares? Oh, I care if you're upset. You get paid to care, Mr. Care Worker. I don't. So, um, is this just a social visit? No, uh, I had something to tell you. Um. Oh yeah, uh, there's loads of smoke pouring out the kitchen. What? So sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me. You've had a panic attack. You'll be okay in a few minutes. Just try and calm yourself. A panic attack. Tracy, is everything all right? I don't know. I'm fine. You really don't care about me, huh? Watch my lips. Sometimes change can be good. Makes life interesting anyway. So you're leaving us because we're boring and you want to change? <laughs> you're definitely not boring. Look, if someone moves on, it doesn't mean they're going to forget you. Everyone forgets dumping ground kids. Oh, I won't. I promise. When people we love do things we don't expect, things we rather they didn't do, that can make us upset, angry. I'm not angry. No, no. no. But I can remember a young Tracy Beaker who, when she would get upset with people, would get very, very angry. Now, this grown-up Tracy Beaker may not get so angry. Thank goodness for that, eh? <laughs> but perhaps she still hasn't quite learned how to express it when she is upset. Talking, you mean? When someone loves you, not really loves you. You can tell them that you're upset with them, you know. They won't go away. Very nice. No, don't sit there. What? What? It's over here. I'll move this out of the way. Hey, be careful with my work, you. Care to pour, Camilla? Let's get my food. Thank you. Cheers. 
You won't believe what I caught Maxie and Peter up to this morning. Making footprints in the butter? <laughs> I'm just gonna go and freshen up. No, but you're not far off. Who is responsible for this? <clears throat> Me. Sorry. I kicked it too hard. Anyone squeals, they get rat poo in their cereal. Let me tell you a story about me when I was about your age. My father, who I adored, walked out on us. I know, I know. But there's a point to this story, OK? I swore that I would never forgive him. So for ten years, I had no contact. Then, one day I decided to meet him, you know, just to tell him what I thought of him. And you know what I discovered? He still loved me. And I still loved him. It's just my mummy didn't love. And your point is? I wasted ten years of time with my father because I had made up my mind to be stubborn. But you know the great thing about the future? It's dead easy to change, if you want to. If you want me to have better luck, Mike, you should foster me yourself. <laughs> you get paid and I'd be worth extra, because I'm difficult and I've got behavioural problems. Say goodbye to Mike. Goodbye, Mike. Thank you for all the lovely memories. Gotta go now. Next. All right, keep your frizz on. You didn't think I was serious, did you? Ugh. I brought on people thinking I had such a tragic foster dad. Don't think you can get round me with flattery, Tracy Beaker. What's that behind your ear? Don't move. There's another one. Wow. I was like, I'd find that really exciting. Sure, you don't want to come. It's not too late for you to change your mind, you know. Tell you what, toss a coin. Heads, I stay here, or tails, I stay here. Oh, tails, so close. <sighs> okay. We'll see you when we get back, okay? You know, I never miss my dad. Not like I miss my mum. Maybe because I never knew him, but. I think it's because... I think it's because... Because you'd be like a father to me. Oh, 